Hello everyone and welcome to Roadmap. So today's topic is Bioinformatics Part 1 and if you like the video don't forget to click on thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe for more video updates. Topics to be covered are Introduction, History and Development of Bioinformatics, Broad Coverage of Bioinformatics, Components of Bioinformatics. Now coming to the introduction, what exactly is bioinformatics? This must be a question which must be coming to your mind, right? So you must have heard someone telling that they are studying bioinformatics there or there is some discovery which took place in bioinformatics, right? And uh, you must be thinking around that what, what it is exactly and how it takes place. So bioinformatics is the combination or... Uh, marriage of biology and information technology in short now basically bioinformatics is a recently developed science using information to understand the biological phenomenon now it broadly involves the computational tools and methods which are used to manage analyze and manipulate volumes and also volumes of biological data now bioinformatics in may be regarded as a part of computational biology now, the latter is convinced with the application of quantitative analytical techniques in modeling and solving problems in biological systems. Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary approach requiring advanced knowledge of computer science, mathematics and statistical methods for understanding the biological phenomena at a molecular level. So this is what exactly the bioinformatics is. Now, if anybody asks you what is bioinformatics, you will be able, definitely able, able to give the answer that bioinformatics is the combination of biology and information technology. We learned what is bioinformatics. It is the combination of biology and information technology. Now coming to the history and relevance of bioinformatics, you must be arising to some next few questions that when was bioinformatics introduced and what it deals with exactly? So the term bioinformatics was introduced in 1990s. Originally dealt with the management and analysis of data pertaining to DNA, RNA and protein sequences. As the biological data is being produced at an unprecedented rate, its management and interpretation invariably requires bioinformatics. So bioinformatics now includes many other types of biological data. Some of them like the gene expression profiles, protein structure, protein interactions, microarrays, functional analysis of biomolecules, drug designing. So bioinformatics is largely a computer-based discipline. Computers are in fact very essential to handle large volumes of biological data their storage and retrieval. We have to accept the fact that there is no computer on earth which can store information and perform the functions like a living cell. A highly complex information technology lies right within the cells of an organism. This primarily includes the organism's genes and their dictates for the organism, biological process and also the behavior. So this is the history and re relevance of bioinformatics. Now, if somebody asks you that what is bioinformatics and what is this, its history, you will be able to answer their questions. Now, after looking at the history of bioinformatics, let's have some broad coverage of bioinformatics. That what are the broad areas bioinformatics covers and what are the areas of the advances of biology? Now, the functional genomics is the area that bioinformatics covers. Then, what is functional genomics exactly? It is the identification of genes and their respective functions. Structural genomics, it is also a part of bio, uh, bioinformatics. And it involves the predictions which are related to functions of proteins. Now coming to the comparative genomics, 
for understanding the genomics of different species of organisms, the comparative genomics, which is a part of bioinformatics. Coming to the DNA microarrays, it is also called as DNA chips. So these are designed to measure the levels of gene expression in different tissues, various stages of development and in different diseases. Medical informatics. Now, medical informatics is also the area which covers the bioinformatics, which bioinformatics covers. Now, it involves the management of biomedical data with special reference to biomolecules, in vitro assays, and clinical trials. So, this is the coverage of bioinformatics. We learned about the informatic bioinformatics and then the history of bioinformatics now coming to the components of bioinformatics now bioinformatics consists of three components so these these are the creation of databases development of algorithm and statistics analysis of data and interpretation so what is exactly creation of databases the creation of databases involves the organizing, storage, and management of the biological data sets. The data sets are accessible to researchers to note the existing information and submit new entries. Now, the example for this like the protein sequence data bank for molecular structure and database will be of no use until they are analyzed. Coming to the development of algorithm and statistics. Now, it involves the development of tools and resources to determine the relationship among the members of large data sets. Example, the comparison of protein sequence data with the already existing protein sequences. Coming to the analysis of data and interpretation. So now the appropriate use of the creation of databases and the development of algorithm and statistics to analyze the data and to interpret the re results in a biologically meaningful manner. This is how the analysis of data and interpretation takes place. Now, it includes DNA, RNA, and protein sequences, protein structure, gene expression profiles, and also biochemical pathways. So this is exactly how the biological data is linked with the sequence uh, sequencing and we will be able to interpret the result and analysis a general overview of it that the they are the these are the components of bioinformatics now in this video we learned about what is bioinformatics what is the history of bioinformatics what are the components of bioinformatics and then what is medical informatics what is comparative genomics in the coming videos, we'll learn about the biological databases like the nucleotide sequence database, protein sequence database, molecular structure of database, then uh, bioinformatics and the internet, how they are linked, and uh, a lot of many things ahead. So stay tuned for more lessons to come. And I hope that you are enjoying the video. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And don't subscribe. Uh, don't forget to click on subscribe button below. And uh, thank you for watching.